This is an open meeting, and I believe it's just to discuss the RFPs. Is that correct? Yep. So I would like to start with the cleaning service because I've been getting all kinds of messages and letters and all kinds of stuff for it. Um, I've been asked to open up hers last so that I can tell her what the number is. No, but I'm just saying when they come in, I've been asked, which obviously is real uncomfortable. I'm certainly not going to do it, but... So the cleaning service, when did we start having cleaning services come to Cross Lake? Since before I started in 2001. And at all the buildings? Well, at that time, we only had the community center and city hall. We only had two. Public Works wasn't built yet. Okay. I mean, one thing I'd like to look at is possibly cutting it down, but maybe we can't. It just seems $55,000 is a lot to spend. So, as far as the way you wrote it up, I think I, I see it's fine. I think we should just look and see what somebody comes with. Well, do we need the joint maintenance facility cleaned three times? No, we, twice is all it really should be done. Least twice a week. Twice a week? Really, you think you need twice a week? County spent three times a week. They're the ones that want it. Oh, I'm sorry. The county wanted it three times a week. For your, what area? They clean uh, the whole office area, the bathrooms and the office areas. And that needs to be done three times a week. I don't think so. Well, I don't think so either. You know, I, I think I we should cut that, that down. I agree with that, but that was what the county wanted. Well, but are they paying for it? Are they paying half? I was going to say. 3%, right? Okay. Yeah. So out of the 4500 we pay monthly, we get reimbursed for a portion of that? Is that true? Just for the maintenance facility, I would assume. The maintenance facility is charged $1,000 a month. The county pays $530 of that a month. Okay. I mean, just to understand it, mm -hmm. what it is. So, so our $4,500 a month net after back and forth is really 4000 a month because we get 500 from the county? Correct. I mean, that's so it costs us 4000 a month for cleaning. I still think three times is way too much. We should cut that back. I was thinking one, once a week. And why is it why do they have to come either before 8 a.m. or after 8 a.m.? Obviously, they can't be disruptive to a meeting or something. That's, that's only on. for the community center. That's not for here, too? No. Oftentimes, they're here after there's hours. No, there's no times on City Hall. Okay. But they choose to do it oftentimes after hours or later? Well, they don't want to be, I mean, they want to get their work yeah. done and leave. Well, what, if that's an elective, you know, yeah. as long as it doesn't cost more. I mean... It's hard to do when people are walking around and. Yeah, no doubt. I don't know if TJ wants to answer why he has certain hours. Yeah, the biggest one being they mop our weight room and our main hallways. So when we have people walking through their building, we don't really want wet floors and people cleaning. And also if they clean during the middle of the day, it's not gonna be clean by the morning, so. We always thought either early in the a.m. or after we close. And it doesn't, <clears throat> to my understanding, I don't think it adds any additional costs. It's just depending on what schedule the clean team has to work with. Well, I, I, my personal opinion is I'd like to change uh, the city administrative office to once a week and the joint maintenance facility to once a week. The other ones. Uh, our, of, our office is here. I mean, there's four of us. The police have their own side. They're once a week. Correct. So I, I agree, we could probably go to yeah. once a week. I think we should However, try it. There's 15 men at that public works garage. 15 men. Um, but they don't look at things the way women do. Into the garage part, right? Well, then tell them to take their boots off at the door. <laughs> in the bathroom? I, I don't think that's that or I, the, <laughs> Can I ask a question? Are we kind of splitting hairs at the moment? Well, kind of. We're not splitting. 
Sandy, you got a question? Uh, yeah, is it just the cost of the cleaning that we're that's under review? Are, are we happy with the job that the current cleaning crew has been doing? I believe so. Yeah. It's, yeah. Ju it's just like anything else. Every once in a while you put RFPs out just to make sure that you're in the right market for what you're paying. That was just quite an impassioned plea, that letter. And oh, I'm sorry. wondering if there any thought about just renegotiating with them if they're willing to lower their prices and maybe we cut how often we clean. No? <laughs> well, I mean, you could do it that way, but it's, you know, looking in the public interest, I don't think it's a bad policy to look out and get price quotes once in a while. Now, I don't want to okay. put somebody out on the street that lives here and relies on it, but... One of my concerns is everybody uh, out there already knows what she charges. I mean, it, so she's, she's at a dis, uh, this company. I shouldn't say she, it was written by a girl but uh, is at a disadvantage now on the bidding process. Big disadvantage, I think. So that's, that's kind of a tough problem. Well, Aaron, problem. they may know, and I don't know how they would know, but they might know a round number, but they don't we, we know the We pay the bill every month. All they gotta do is sure, look but, at the bills. Yeah, and I guess this is the, what you did here is the job description for the cleaning service. That we right? get currently on the, on Cur the all the, That's the ongoing one. So if we change this description a little bit, that would alter it. So should we go through each department and see what we can alter on it? You say City Hall here is cleaned every Wednesday at 4 p.m. No, twice a week. Weekends too, isn't it? Isn't City Hall twice a week? According to your oh, and once on the weekend, yeah. And they clean glass and everything twice a week. Yeah, I just I I think once a week. I mean, if we find out that it needs more, I guess then we hike it up. But why not start with once a week and see if they're if it if it works, it works. Shar, you thought earlier that once a week was fine, right? Because you and I were talking when I came in for my packet. Like, if there's a spill or something, you guys obviously clean it up. You just don't leave it. Absolutely. So we'll scratch the weekend cleaning. Or Either or. doesn't matter. Yeah, just figure once a week. Yeah, once a week. We don't care when they do it, do we? No. Well, it would be nice to be consistent. I would say the weekend because... Sometimes we have a special meeting on a Wednesday, and then I forget to tell her, and, uh, so and then she's here with the vacuum. The just so just have them clean on the weekend? I would think so. Okay. Police department, that's once a week. That's fine with me. I'm fine with that one. But the police department, like the public works, the, the public, for the most part, is not in there. Right? I mean, the public doesn't go into that, the place. That's correct, but they're out on calls for service where they're traipsing through mud and whatever. That gets brought in. So if you're cleaning it once a week, expect to replace carpet and stuff more often. But that's all that's in the RFP is once. <clears throat> that's all that's in there. We're not well, changing anything there. I, that's the one area I think they should because they got the guys walking in and out with their yeah. dirty boots. And you think out. step up? Huh? Step up from once a week to twice a week on that, or what do you? Is that what you mean? I would think so because not only that, but they're bringing evidence in and they're processing that stuff, and some of that stuff has contaminants mm. and stuff on it. Well, apparently we're only doing once a week now, right? That's once what, a week yeah. at the PD. That's yeah. what we're doing now. My question: Once a week. That's all. Well, that seems to be working, so we'll just leave that alone. Community center, five days a week for two and a half hours, so they come in and just do a few things, TJ, huh? Get the carpets and the gym floor, I suppose. And my staff checks garbages throughout the day uh, before my staff leaves. We empty the garbages just to save some time for the clean team to worry about vacuuming, mopping, cleaning the restroom facilities, and so on and so forth. Yep. 
So they do it two and a half hours, five days a week. Correct. And even like in the winter, if there's a bunch of salt tracked in, my staff takes care of it during the day and then they just clean Good it at night. Good for you, TJ. <laughs> Good for you. All right. So that we'll leave alone. Uh, public works, your guys are clean three times a week. Yes, but we can go down to once a week. All right, with well. county's blessing. <clears throat> I think you would need to contact the county. In Wafari building now, it's got the laminate flooring in there, so there's no carpet anymore. They're finishing that up this week. Yeah, and the guys, I mean, you know, treat it like home. Take your boots off when you come in, or at least <laughs> Good kick luck. them off. <laughs> well, I, then they can swim in it, you know, I mean... <laughs> You to respect it or lose it. Yeah. So let's change that to once a week. It had been two times a week from 2004 when it opened until COVID. 2019, and then they increased it to three times a week. And who requested that, do you recall? Rob Hall. Well, see what the county, I mean, the county pays for half of it, so they certainly got a say in it, but see what they say about it. And the fire hall is once a month. So, I mean, make those changes and I, are they doing it on an hourly basis at all or it's just a flat, I mean, like during the years of COVID, there was no activity in here, and we were still paying 4,500 bucks a month. I can't imagine the cleaning was excessive at that time. City Hall was empty. It can't be that warm out, Sandy. We were not paying $4,500 a month. Did it adjust? Because before COVID, the community center wasn't getting cleaned by a company. Okay, so the so I community don't know what, center I don't remember just what the bill was. So the community right. center just started. Yep. Yeah. Well, it seems to me that we could make a few changes in this. And the description says clean all the windows and dust all the surfaces. Do you have to do that every week? I mean, I don't I don't really clean, so you got to do it every week. Especially windows. Well, I mean the front door windows. Right, you right. guys have a cleaning right. company come That's and right. do all the glass a couple times a year, I would assume. Right. Yeah. And this is a description to check. I can't imagine they have to do it every week, but they check it to see if it needs it, I would assume. All right. Well, I would just ask you to make those couple little changes to this thing and put it out. The only thing I'm unsure of is the public works, what you want me to do with that. I would move it to once a week and, and make a call to the county, see if they agree. If not, maybe twice a week. Yeah, I wouldn't go three. You wouldn't go three? I wouldn't. Yeah. No, I'd go one or two. I'd try for one, and if they absolutely need two, I guess they're, pay they're paying for that second one. Well, as well as we are, but... I'll make a motion that we approve it with the changes and then work with the county to get that uh, resolved, whether it's one, two, or whatever. Okay? I'll, se I'll second that motion. Okay, Sandy, do you have any other comments on it? I, I just agree with the, the decision to reduce the number of cleaning. I don't think that's nece it's necessary as it was. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in agreement. Good. Okay, if we got a motion, all in favor? No, no. Or you I'll take a roll call. call. Yep. Marsha? Yes. Jackson? Yes. Dave? Yes. Aaron? Yes. Sandy? Yes. Motion yes. carries. Thank you. I do have one question. You, you, Dave, you had mentioned that opening the bids, that, that whole deal of um, uh, how you're going to open the bids. Uh, are you opening the bids? Well, they're all addressed. Okay, so in the RFP, you should have, instead of uh, uh, bids are 
received until uh, four o'clock on whatever day it was. I can't remember. Um, I guess sealed bids will be received until four o'clock and will be opened at that time and read aloud. And that the uh, decision will be made at the, I assume, the March meeting. That's how that should read then. So what does that mean, Marcia, that the bids will be open like in these chambers and yes. we can all be here if you, we want You to will be. open the bids and, and we'll review the bids and then the so decision will be made at the council do meeting. You special, do you want to set a special council meeting that day? No. I guess if, she, if, if they're worried about the bids and yeah, how they're read. They remain sealed until you have a meeting. I know, but we don't want to open them up at council meeting night. I think we want to know I Prior. know, but you should, I'll check your schedules and make sure the date is going to work. I, if, I, if it's going to be a meeting. I, I kind of understood Marsha to mean Mike and Dave are going to open the bench no. at 4 o'clock on the date that they close. I, I don't care how you do it, as long as they're open and read aloud at, at that time. I, I mean, if, if and, 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 then the and considered at the next meeting. Packet for the council meeting. I don't know that I really see any harm in opening it in a meeting and just announce it, reading the bids publicly. What do you want? Well, if somebody well. has to scan those bids to make sure somebody hasn't scanned what they put in, and they put in for less than what their what their uh, our requirement is, those bids have to be reviewed at this also. So you open them at four o'clock, and then they get reviewed at a point in time before our council meeting. And if they meet the specs, then we get the information. Okay, but any other road bid or any other project we do is open to, at an opening time. But that's at an open that's, meeting. That's you saying, tab. Then the engineer goes and tabulates so we yeah, make sure yeah, everything but, is but, correct, but and then they're considered at another meeting. meeting. Well, it's a bid opening meeting. The only reason we call it a council meeting is so that the council could be there. We don't call it a council meeting. Well, but then how can the council be there if it's not a special There's meeting? never been a quorum at one of those. Okay. Just, just two of you, Dave, or three. Yeah, should I don't care. To be there. I don't care. But I just, you know, Mike road projects and stuff is open. Council. <clears throat> well, if that's up to you. You can call it a, a council meeting. That's fine. You can call <laughs> it a council meeting. Well, I you guess I'd ask the council there who and else has it? got a desire to be here when they're ready. Anybody? If not, then there's no sense in talking about it. Okay. Dave, does February 10th work for you? I'm sure it does. At 4 o'clock, a Friday? But they're, they come in at different times, don't they? Well, yeah. They're different ones? Yeah. yeah. But you have to open them at the same time. Yeah. Not each... All the cleaning ones, yes. Yeah, yeah. But not each talking. RFP at the same time. Correct. We're just, I thought we were just talking the cleaning. Okay. Well, we, then we, we got two more to talk about after that. February 10th is fine. Four okay. o'clock, it's a Friday. Mm -hmm. And February 10th is what's posted. Friday at four o'clock. Going to be posted. Okay. So we'll make those changes and Okay, next, legal services. Anybody have any questions on it? It seemed pretty be... clear cut. And yeah. Well written to me. What'd you have, Erin? Um, well, I was listening to Sandy. Uh, I don't. I didn't have a chance to read everything in here, but uh, it doesn't state anything to the effect that low bid will be accepted. Does it? Okay, thank you. Good. No. Okay, no, I'm, I'm not good. on the cleaning either. None of them say that. Okay, I just 
well, yeah, we should be careful of that one. So February 10th, that's at 4 p.m. too. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't know. I just put. Yeah, dates I just in there. read it. Yeah. That's the due date. Just about to turn them in, and we don't have to open them all on February 10th. They don't all have to be opened at the same time. Well, no, we, this one is February 24th. Right. The legal. Right. Or but later the, yeah. The two on the 10th, we could. Yeah. Why is that one different? So that we're not doing them all on the same day. That's, we shouldn't, I mean, who knows how many we're going to have. Unless you dedicate a whole afternoon for it. Well, who knows what we're going to get talking back. About opening the bid, <laughs> open the proposals, or what? I don't know that we're going to have 20 of them back. Okay, right. and then, right. so everybody's good with the legal services? Yep. Yes. Labor and employment legal. Make a motion to pass it. First. I think we have to vote on this. Oh, one okay. First. I make a motion to pass the. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Which one was that? Legal Sorry. services. The legal services RFP. Second. Okay, sure. Jackson. Yes. Dave. Yes. Aaron. Yes. Sandy. Yes. Marsha. Yes. Motion carries. Okay, same with the labor and employment legal services. Everybody get a chance to look at that? Yes. Anybody have anything to add or question? I'll make a motion to approve the Labor and Employment Legal Services, uh, RFP. I'll second that. And the opening to be the same on the 24th at 4 p.m. Yeah. I mean, the 24th, a different date. Yeah. Oh. Okay, sure, go ahead. Is there a reason yep. that that's the 24th instead of the 10th? Well, it's been posted that way, I don't know. Well, it hasn't been posted yet because we're just approving them, so. Um, I would we say thought that, there should be time in yeah. between. Well, and I think that gives them a month to put it together. They got a lot of questions in here and a lot of stuff to respond okay. to. Alrighty. So let's check it. I have a question. Uh, I, I read these and I may have missed it, but um, who makes the final determination about uh, the hiring? Who? The city council. The council. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Chair. Dave? Yes. Aaron? Yes. Sandy? Yes. Marsha? Yes. Jackson? Yes. Motion carries. So is the entire council reviewing the proposals and um, making the interview selections? Say that again. Your selection schedule says we're going to review the proposals and then we're going to interview uh, the selections and stuff, who we're going to hire. So Is the entire council going to interview, review and interview? I w that's what they have done in the past. Yeah, I would say so. Well, I, I just want a clarity. Yeah. I want to make sure that that's... But what so you guys have done be, in the past is that... That will be a special meeting to do that in? Yes. That's February 15th, according to this schedule. <clears throat> okay, and that's good. So it's the next Wednesday or something. Then we can decide who we want to interview, and that takes place February 22nd. Okay, what dates for meetings do I need to? It's in the, propol in the RFP. Sure. Block out your February. Okay. <laughs> but we don't have times on that. <laughs> no. One o'clock. Well, February 15th. The, the clean team should be able to they should be able to look at that and then just submit it to council meeting and we make a decision. But the interviews, we're not interviewing we're, cleaning people, are no, we? No, I'm talking oh. about the legal services now. Okay. now but that's what's got the... Okay. If you look at the selection schedule on the RFPs, it has the date lines there. Yeah, but... So cleaning we're is all just... on the same page. What is the schedule for council to come together for interviews? 
So review of proposals February 15th. That's a review, but that's not a... Well, the next one is City Council Awards Contract Yeah, on March 13th. So it would be the 15th then. But <coughs> when are we interviewing the... the Let's see, what am I having? The fifth, can, uh, wouldn't that be the 15th, Shar? We're not going to interview no. all 10. No, you would review yeah. what they turn in yeah. on the 15th yeah. as a group. Mm -hmm. And then pick who you want. And then on the 20 sec 22nd, do those interviews. February 22nd. Yeah. Perfect. And it's in here, Aaron. What time for interviews? I guess it depends how many there are or how many you select to interview. Yeah. Can we tentatively put down like 2 p.m.? I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Just to try to get it done a little earlier. I'm fine with that. I'm it, sure. Well, the 22nd, let's see, am I on February? Oh, is it what, a Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday, 2 p.m., we'll tentatively do it. If we got to change it, we will. And what about on the 15th? Well, that's just being opened and, and no, uh, reviewed at that point, right? No, that's you looking through them and deciding who you want to so interview. opening on the 10th. Okay, what time? We're going to review on the 15th. What time, 2 p.m. again? Yeah. Sure. Okay. And I'll use those same times for the labor attorney as well. Okay, thank you. Can you shoot for Wednesdays? Or when, it, okay, They perfect. are. I kind of had that in the back of my mind. Smart. I think. I hope. Wednesday night, <laughs> yeah, so it works out great. Okay, and we'll review the cleaning and the legal, both on the 15th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's the matter, Marsha? <laughs> I will send out a list. Using different adjectives. I will send out a schedule. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now labor and employment. Did we do that one? We didn't finish that, did we? Yeah, we did. Yes. Yep. I that was motion to adjourn. You made a motion? Do we? And then we do that. I second. To adjourn. <laughs> I'll I'm asking for a motion to adjourn, please. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second. I second. All in favor? Aye, aye, aye. The only thing we didn't do is set the legal and employment.